Hello, my name is Glenn Dyer, and you are watching A Dyer Situation. Today, we're seeing miracles from heaven. Uh, uh, <laughs> I mentioned this last week. It, it's surely going to be very fun. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of what I think the, these kinds of movies are. <laughs> d d just so you know, okay, um... The movie is basically based on these memoirs where um, a kid with, I think, a digestive disorder falls out of a tree and is miraculously cured. And uh, the whole movie's going to be about how God did it. So. Yippee. Yeah. <laughs> Pro um, not expecting very, uh, very much competency here. I expect a lot of preaching. <laughs> a lot of <laughs> preaching. Uh, especially since the whole, uh, cure thing can be readily explained with, uh, logic and reasoning. I mean, like, uh, I mean, like, the chances of somebody, like, getting knocked up, knocked on, on something and curing in physical illness is actually rare, but not impossible. And also, just st statistically, with the amount of human beings on the planet, it's actually very unlikely that a story like this would not occur. Yeah. But, still, I'm sure in the movie, the kid is going to be hit by a beam of light as he falls to the ground, and there's going to be a choir or something, and it's going to be hilariously over the top. Yeah. Or, most likely, the movie's just going to be painful, incredibly preachy, and boring. Yeah. Either way, I'm not expecting much. Yes. Uh, best case scenario, it's going to be hilarious. Yeah. So, uh, anything left to say? or No, I think we're good. Okay, let's check it out. And we're back! <laughs> uh, this was, uh, yeah. This was a long movie. Yeah. Although, it was pretty interesting, um... When we went and bought the ticket, they gave us this cute little coloring book. The, the Miracles from Heaven Create Color Pattern Play. But they didn't give us any crayons. Yeah, so how are we supposed to use our coloring book without crayons? How are we supposed to take <coughs> a moment to breathe? Or realize that beauty restores faith without crayons? I don't know. This is bullshit. I don't like it. But what about the movie? The movie is bullshit. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. I honestly wish it was. Yeah. That would have been funny. And we'd have a lot more to talk about. Pretty much, this movie had many chances to be offensive, to be, uh, like, crude, to be stupid, and instead it wasn't. Yeah. Instead, it was just very middle-of-the-road... Generic. Formularic. Yeah. And increasingly hard to watch as it went on. Yeah. Pretty much what we thought. Boring and preachy. And just got more preachy as it went on. I think it unloaded all the preachy parts at the end. Pretty much, yeah. So... Like, at the beginning, you could hardly classify it as the Christian movie. Yeah, for the most part, I think you could pretty easily edit out all the references to, like, religious stuff pretty well, and you just have a story of a little girl with a digestive disorder who, um, somehow is miraculously cured of it. Yeah. And, you know, but if that happened, people would be angry because it would be a day of six machina. But in this movie, that's kind of the point. Yeah. It, like, it is a deus ex machina. Like, literally, deus ex machina. Yeah. So, yeah. It's not a whole lot to say about it. It's just, uh... No, not really. Uh, pretty miraculous situation. It's her head and restarts her organs. and She gets massive taco shits and she's fine. That's, yeah. the, that's the movie. But, like, that basically happened near the near, near the end of the movie. Yeah, because they realize that, like, the actual story doesn't have much to it. So they instead they padded it out with, like, trips to the aquarium and Southpaw-style 
increasing levels of sadness. And thousand dollar round trips to Boston from Texas. Yeah, seriously. Like she was meant she like um they had to go to Texas every six weeks or no, something. They had to go to Boston. They were from Texas. Oh yeah. They had to go to Boston every six weeks for a treatment. And she was calculating she said a thousand dollars to get to Texas and back. Uh, to get to Boston and back. And yeah, I, I I thought that number sounded weird. I went home and I looked it up, and according to Google, at least, like those prices range from like two hundred to three hundred, both ways, like not nearly that expensive. Like was she flying first class? They didn't look like first class seats. Where did this movie get its money? I don't know. You're gypped. Yeah, <laughs> you're a gypped, lady. Just like we were. You're expecting more. From this movie. I was expecting explosions. No, I was. Just, <laughs> I, I was. Ex I wasn't expecting it to be life changing, but I was at least expecting it to be offensive. I mean, like, they had a perfect opportunity. There was this family of wasps in there who were like, hmm, maybe your daughter isn't getting better because she isn't praying. Yeah. Or something. And I was expecting, oh, the movie's gonna go with that moral, so I can say it's a terrible movie. Yeah. But it doesn't. No, the, the, they're actually those guys are actually painted in a bad light, or maybe the the wife has lost her faith, so she'll regain it, and her daughter will be cured, so we'll still get that kind of bad moral. But no, it it doesn't. Well, maybe during the final preachy scene, she'll say that God healed her daughter because your daughter was great. Instead, she just said she doesn't know. It's like, can't you give me something? Something to harp on. I'm actually really mad because there's nothing to harp on. I mean, hell, Young Messiah, I had a little to harp on because it was just stupid. <coughs> this movie is infuriatingly bland. Yeah. Uh, makes me mad. Mm -hmm. Makes me want to cry. Makes me indifferent. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, 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 that's, that's pretty much that's, how I feel. Yeah, that's, that, that's, that's basically the same. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's, it's bland, there's not much to say, that's about it. Alright. Well, and until next time, I'm Glenn Dyer, and you have been watching A Dire Situation. <laughs>